So, Tom, how is it anyway? Hollies, Haley's, or Hallie's? Well, you got it right the last time, Janine. Just remember, it rhymes with pal and sal. And, of course, the NBS News team took a stab at covering the phenomenon of Hallie's Comet last spring, as Navy journalist Rick Hilliard reports. 1986 marks one of the most important years in over seven decades for stargazers. This is the year when Halley's Comet returns to brighten our early morning skies. This year's appearance won't be as spectacular as first suspected, but Captain John Chubb of the Navy's Oceanography Command Center here in Rota explains that Halley's Comet can be seen by those willing to sacrifice a little sleep for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The best time to see Halley's Comet will be next week from about Saturday the 5th of April until the 10th. Uh, that uh, the comet will be getting lower in the sky, but it will be at its brightest. You probably should watch it with the binoculars, however. It should be visible by the naked eye. But in order to do that, you should be in an area that's very dark. One of the problems we have around the base here in Rota is we have the lights from the harbor, the lights from up around the industrial area, and if you look south in the direction of the comet, the lights from Kedi. Well, you should look basically to the south about an hour before sunrise. Um, the little diagram shows it, it will start more toward the southeast and then move toward the, toward the south as it gets closer and closer to sunrise. It'll be about the same height as the roof of a house if you're standing, oh, three or four houses away. So it won't be high up in the sky. 